went down to Harbor Freight yesterday. I had a 20% off uh, coupon. That's probably the only whole reason why I went and to return my old supposedly HVLP gun. But anyways, I exchanged it and it got me another one. And I don't know. Hopefully this one will come out better than the other one and I can finish the review on this. But <coughs> of course you get your standard uh paint cup, um your little tool kit here, a uh, filter, brush, spanner wrench, locking pins to take off. Well, locking pins that work in conjunction with the spanner wrench to take off your uh, nozzle for cleaning. And last but not least, <coughs> your gun. Well, can't forget the instructions, right? Some instructions here. I'll tell you, give you some pretty pictures how to use your gun, how to clean it. How to wipe it down. How to clean your gun. Uh, how to disassemble it. Of course you get your main instructions. I guess these are instructions for people who don't know how to read. But if you know how to read, of course, get the detailed operating manual here. Um, also your air supply it's gonna matter for people who are gonna try to use this off an air tank that's refillable. It ain't gonna work Move for a couple seconds but you need a air compressor one to three horsepower. Um, I just use my homemade air compressor so maybe I'll show that in a minute or I have a video on that on my channel nothing special made from Harbor Freight 2 anyway so here's a gun uh, my last review or attempted review on this gun went to show that thing was leaky and I mean leaky the gun was on its last draw and the well, world its last end um, you get your little seal for your uh, paint cup there. So uh, here's the gun. 1.4 millimeter tip. Maybe it needs a little bit of uh, tightening. Tighten down everything because everything out of the box is pretty loose. Um, I didn't on this model the back well on this uh, exchanged model that I got I can see that it's already loose here on the threads in the back so hopefully that won't give me no problems um, hopefully the inside won't give me no problems everything seems to be fine there Um, when you get your guns, if you do get your guns from Harbor Freight, always uh, inspect them before you walk out of the store. Might be a good idea if your store allows it, most of them do, to actually open up the product and inspect it. But not everybody's going to be able to do that because usually what happens is uh, people will open up everything then and then everybody grabs the stuff from the back. But usually Harbor Freight has like one item that's already been opened and been manhandled by everybody. So <coughs> when you see an open box, it's pretty much been inspected by everybody. But anyways, everybody will open it up, manhandle it, and then uh, if they like it, they'll end up picking a new one from the back of the uh, stock. And uh, here's a spanner wrench. It goes right here in the front. Oh, I think it does. Probably doesn't even fit. It's a real tight fit. Jeez. Go 
tell me there's going to be another lemon. Well, this is the Spanish wrench for it, but it's undercut, so I have to find a way to force it. So right off the bat, the tool barely even fits in there, but at least it has a good grip. Anyways, uh, going to remove this right away. You see, you got to clean these guns when you get them because somewhere along the line the Chinese stick got foam sealant in there crappy sealant that's not good check out the guns already plugged I'm not sure if you can see that on the camera but kinda see the hole in there if I tilt it you can see there's some gunk in there that's already plugged up same thing on this end whole bunch of sealant in there uh, if you just throw paint straight into your gun and try painting you're gonna get all the contaminants in your paint and it ain't gonna come out right so um, make sure you always clean all this stuff off this stuff they sealed it of course they sealed it out in China because they know the guns gonna leak if they don't seal it they did a better job of actually doing the threads right and they weren't so loose. I mean, this is a half-ass job or a half-ass tool, but if you can get stuff done with it, it works pretty good. <clears throat> All right, so when you get your uh, HVLP gun from Harbor Freight, or if you're gonna end up buying one of these, you're gonna end up getting a uh, little gasket here, so you can put it with your paint gun or with your paint cup and a lot of people fail to uh, put that gasket in there and end up getting leaks because this will get leaks all these uh, cheap Chinese guns do get leaks because the threads are not um, tight on there everything is just uh, half ass if you will um, made it's Chinese so anyways you just uh, hook it up just like that and it should seal it should if you get leaks just uh, get some Teflon tape or yeah some Teflon tape will seal that up that's what I usually do I've never used the gasket but if this gasket does spring a leak I will put Teflon tape no biggie um, I like to clean out my guns with acetone. I know it's a little bit harsh. You could put paint thinner, but uh, whatever. If you leave paint thinner in there, what ends up happening is paint thinner is gonna stay. Uh, some paint thinner might stay in there when you put your expensive paint in there. Hopefully, you're not working with expensive paint, but if you are, you don't want to uh, ruin that new paint job that you're gonna be doing by. Uh, with some paint thinner but anyways what I like oh, I think you can use uh, denatured alcohol also so the acetone will just pretty much clean everything then it evaporates and then it's ready for spray also when using one of these guns make sure that you use a uh, filter so you don't get fish eye in your paint job little fish eyes look weird Especially if you're like a perfectionist or real anal about the quality, you want a good, you know, paint quality. So, um, these are also um, sold to Harbor Freight. These are actually pretty good. Uh, these are little uh, spray gun filters. And these work actually pretty good. Um, you can leave it on the sun. If it does capture any water, it'll uh, evaporate it when not in use. So if your compressor is homemade like mine and I, my compressor, I do drain it out all the time but sometimes water does get into the filter. Uh, I usually just uh, leave this filter out in the sun when not in use and it just dries everything up in there. 
I'm able to use it a couple more times and they're supposed to be like a we'll use once and then dispose of it but I've never had any fish eyes using these so these pretty much just go straight to your gun and that's it there you go so I'm going to be putting some paint in well I'm going to be cleaning it out put some paint in and shoot a couple um, a couple coats here some paint and see how that comes out um, hopefully it doesn't spring a leak all right so I'm here doing some uh, nighttime painting I put some uh, some paint in the uh, new Harbor Freight gun now the only thing that leaked was from the seal right here that's all right because uh, I can adjust that seal or I can uh, thread it with Teflon tape but anyways that ain't much of a problem right there so no big deal not much of a big deal for me uh, it hasn't leaked that much but I did a couple of test sprays already with the gun and I did a panel here now I have a previous gun, the previous version of this. Um, you can see that on one of my other videos. Um, or actually, I have it right here. This is the older version, and this has a 1.5 tip, and that's the one I use for uh, spraying my silver base for the candy. Now this new one, I'm going to be using it for spraying the candy green, the color base. And I've done a couple a uh, couple pieces here and I'm gonna try to capture this on the camera without destroying the camera um, trying to do this for video sake so you guys can see how this candy stuff flows out pretty good but anyways I have them hanging here up here and I already did a couple of light coats on this this is the candy apple green now I'm going to be doing a couple more coats on this and then I'm going to be running a clear coat with um, a clear coat with uh, gold ghost pearls in it <coughs> so anyways this is going to be the uh, review for this gun for this Harbor Freight gun this is going to be the continuance I guess because the uh, I know the other video I was doing the gun ended up leaking up leaking really bad from all over and since I got me another one this one seems to be working better even though it's still leaking but this is just uh, all it's leaking from is just from the uh, cup but that's normal uh, it wasn't but I don't know. I think I just left it for too long there and it started leaking, but it's all right. Uh, if you have any leakage like this, um, you of course would want to put some Teflon tape. Uh, so I'm doing some nighttime painting here again. Uh, this is when the uh, nighttime seems to be the best because there's less wind, especially here in my location and. Also, the paint just smooths, uh, flows much better, and it still dries up pretty fast. It's probably about 60 degrees or 55 degrees now. Well, it's not recommended to be painting at this temperature, but anyways, I'm going to do a couple more coats, and hopefully I can catch this on the camera. All right, so I have my piece here. As you can see, um, I've been, I have an actual smooth color. Um, no orange peel. Uh, I, I did get a little fish eyes, but I switched the filter, so that's going to, a couple more coats will take care of those little fish eyes there. Um, it'll sink in there. I'm giving it with a tack rag right now, since I am doing this just pretty much seat on my pants. Um, out here, the temperature's kind of dropping, so I'm trying to get all this done. So I can have my belly pans and my motorcycle finished. 
Um, I'm not looking for perfection here. I'm just these are gonna end up getting a lot of abuse anyways from like road debris and stuff like that. So it's all right with me. Yeah. So what I'm gonna be doing now is I'm gonna be hooking up the gun and. I'm going to shoot a couple light sprays and I should have my perfect color match to my to my uh, twin bearing. Always make sure you wear the respirators and eyewear. Alright, so I'm going to start shooting now. So all I got to do now is just uh, do a couple more coats right in here and uh, a little bit right in here and just a small knob uh, like right here. And I think that should be it for me. Um, the pressure is kind of going down on the gun. So hopefully I don't come out with the orange peel. Oh, I think I'm good. So I'm just going to hang this and let it all flash off for about 10 to 15 minutes. I'll turn the camera on and then I'll pretty much show the progress and then I'll be throwing a clear coat over this as you just saw I did some painting with this Harbor Freight gun here excuse the dog um, I just did some painting and did some candy color here um, this gun is pretty good other than the leaks I mean, it, it leaked, obviously, um, but it didn't have any problems like what it did on my uh, previous gun that I was trying to do a review on, which was the same one as this, but this one actually worked out quite nice. The gasket, I, rec I don't like the gasket. It doesn't seal, so I will be wrapping this with Teflon tape like I do with the rest of my guns, and I'll get a better uh, fit and a better seal anyways but anyways uh, the, when it comes to this gun it actually sprays out quite nice there's a good fan to it I like it better than the rest of my guns except for my mini detail gun uh, my detail gun kicks all these ones in the butt but this one's actually not a bad buy um, as long as you inspect it in the store and you actually you know if you can take it apart would be the best thing but it's an actual good gun um, but the thing is you know like the obvious things like when it comes to Harbor Freight you're gonna get leaks and nothing's tightened and everything is just like crappy quality so you gotta work on it it's kind of but I mean I only pay $12.99 for the damn thing it runs for $15.99 on sale <coughs> um, also, 
Uh, I think it's a nice gun. I should have bought another one. But, oh well. I mean, I like it. It has a 1.4 tip. It works out good for spring candy. Um, the paint that I was painting was from Duplicolor. And that paint is a lacquer paint. So lacquer uh, tends to have orange peel. So the gun might actually do a better uh, spray if it was actually a different kind of uh, paint. But since I'm doing it with lacquer, which is a thick paint anyways, as you can kind of see it all dried up there and gummed up, <coughs> it's uh, it's gonna it's bound to get uh, orange peel. And these guns, anyways, they're not high quality. They're all right. They're they're not meant to be like um, I I water guns or anything like that, or the uh, Sata jet guns. So. I mean, if you want something for twelve ninety nine, and it's gonna do an all right job, I guess this is or uh, fifteen ninety nine. Excuse me. Um, if you want an, a cheap gun to do something cheap, um, then this is a good. It's a good all around gun, but except for its minor flaws, of course. And um, if you check out my other videos, you'll see that uh, I had a problem with the previous one, so. It's it's an all right gun. Um, you just got to put some maintenance into it, and um, the seals will eventually leak after a while. So it's always good to get um, warranty. If you're gonna get anything at Harbor Freight, get warranty. Um, if you're if you don't care, um, you lose out twelve bucks, then it's all right. I mean, it's all right, I guess, but. Always get warranty, and you can up like a two year warranty. And you can take this stuff when it craps out, you just take it back, get a new one, get a new one, get a new one. Uh, other than that, I mean, it's an alright gun. Uh, if, it came, if it came down to like a recommendation, I probably wouldn't recommend it. Um, I'd recommend it for, for a starter or somebody, but I'd rather, uh, like, if I were to like talk with a beginner and he wanted a gun I wouldn't probably turn him on to this I'd probably turn him to the big gun right away I'm going to actually do it for like a living or something <clears throat> but for like fabricators and DIY guys and hobbyists just like me I mean you can get away with painting your art or whatever with one of these guns I'm painting my motorcycle so I'm just doing a decent um, all around job I'm not trying to get like House of Color, show quality, anything like that. Of course, you wouldn't want to uh, buy House of Color and shoot it out through this gun. I mean, if you have, like, enough money to do, like, a $1,000 paint job, then you don't want a cheap gun to shoot your paint. You might as well get the expensive gun to do it. Um, the paint that I was using, of course, was lacquer. Um, it's actually flowing out right now. Um, I will get a, it's almost flashed off, it's almost dried, but it's right there. It's all done with this Harbor Freight gun. And, um, you can see it's a pretty good finish. You don't see any heavy orange peel on there. There's some minor defects and stuff like that from the plastic. And that's only because I'm not painting in a paint booth. <coughs> But anyways, the fumes are getting to me. Uh, I'll try to make this as quick as possible, but but anyways, uh, when it comes to this uh, gun, it's all right. It does a good job. I mean, just look in front of you. Uh, look at that paint job. It's all right. It looks nice. It's reflective. The paint's actually flowing out. Um, some paints flow out. This like this one does. So you can kind of see. Um, you can kind of see right there, like a reflection. So it's actually still flowing out. But once it's done flowing out, it'll the orange peel will pretty much uh, go away. Um, this paint gun, I'm sure if adjusted correctly, since I'm not a professional painter, I'm just doing this in the seat of my pants. Uh, I'm not a professional. Uh, I'm not like a... I don't run like a spray booth or anything like that. I'm just a DIY guy. 
hobbyist fabricator. Um, so this is my first time painting something actually like a motorcycle. This is my biggest project. So I'm not looking for perfection. Uh, I'm a beginner. Uh, if I do like this and I do decide to do like a car or something, I'll invest money and actually do it. But between all these chemicals and stuff like that, um, it's all right to do it once in a while. It's not something I'd rather pay somebody to do it, I think. But that's if you have the money. If you don't have the money, you broke back mountain, then you want to make your own makeshift. Uh, you can actually get away with making your own makeshift paint booth like I have. <laughs> and actually do a pretty decent job with a Harbor Freight gun and some cheap paints. And I mean, if I think it takes talent for somebody... Um, to actually make a cheap paint or even like a rattle can job look like a five six hundred dollar paint job I mean this is gonna look like a thousand dollar paint job hopefully um, but there's some people that got skills um, like I say I'm, I'm a beginner I'm not bragging or anything like that but uh, I, I'm pretty proud of myself and I've been doing a good job and I think it's one hell of a paint job so far for somebody that's never painted um, I've painted stuff before, but not nothing like a motorcycle. I've painted projects, um, tools, whatever, but never something like this. And um, preparation, everything just goes into it. And it's actually anybody, I guess, can spray, but preparation is key. But anyways, if you could look there, that Harbor Freight gun did one hell of a job. Uh, it's all right. Uh, I'm not going to recommend it because you can actually buy something decent for about 150 bucks. You can get like a Devil Bliss or Devil Bliss or whatever gun. Um, or you can find a, I, uh, I mean a Sata Jet RP gun or an Iwata on Craigslist for a good deal. Um, which I'm actually looking for. But uh, anyways, that's going to be pretty much the uh, review for the Harbor Freight supposedly HVLP but it's more it sprays like 50 to 70 psi and it's not it's not no HVLP it's more like high volume high pressure gun because it does uh, take a lot of it does spray a lot of material but this is lacquer again so you gotta spray a lot of this material I'm just gonna do one more quick pass on zoom and you can actually see that paint just float out there's no longer a uh, major orange peel. Orange peel's just like disappearing right before my eyes here. And that's it, folks. That's it. That's it's an alright gun. Armor Freight. No heavy orange peel. Looks good. Just look at that shine. I just love watching that paint flow out, even if it's just the lacquer, the cheap lacquer. Uh, but anyways, if you like my videos, if you like my reviews, um, please comment, uh, like, and subscribe. Uh, I might not be able to reply to everybody, but at least subscribe and let me know if you like my videos. Uh, I have much more videos in plan in store and I want to thank you guys as always for watching so thank you